Ooh, got here Ooh. first. Hello, Eris. Out of my way, Eris. I won't be wasting any further breath on you while you perpetuate this nonsense. You never understood me, Trouble. Fine, you don't have to. Just remember that I'm doing this for your own good. And actually, mine too. See you later. <laughs> Trying to slow me down. <laughs> Trouble. Eris. You again. What, are you concerned my task just isn't difficult enough? Going a bit too swimmingly? Actually, yes, I was a little worried about that. You got past the sirens. What next? You'll go kill Kronos, and then what? Come on, babe. Let's not do anything rash. Death to Kronos! I don't appreciate this, Eris. Eris? Here to set another curse on me, Eris? For all your idiosyncrasies, I never took you for a traitor. I'm not, I swear! It's just... Uh, you'll never understand. I wanted this to be a special moment, but you had to go and ruin it. Okay, gotta go. Curses. What's all the commotion anyway, huh? Chrono started bashing on Olympus again, sure. But it's not like you have to go after him now, do you? Believe me, I'd much rather stay and chit-chat with you than sully my hands in Titan blood. But you have a choice, Saris. You can help me finish this rather than hinder me. You know, babe, when you're right, you're right. You've given me a lot to chew on. Now you chew on this. Oopsie! <laughs> oh. This isn't working. Why won't you stop? What's it gonna take, huh? My work here is done. This again. What are you doing here in Tartarus? There's no way you could have access to this place, unless... Unless I could, like, fly? Come off it, babe. You're way too stuck in your own head. You'll probably be stuck here, too. Bye now. I don't appreciate this, Eris. Don't take this personally, babe, but some things we just have to do, you know? Oopsie! What did she do to me? Come on, man. Gotta tell me why you're really here. The three don't just send you out on long assignments like this. Wait, is it because of her? Please, Eris. The princess ought to be addressed as such. And lest you forget, the details of my arrival are not for me to divulge. There must be something else we can discuss. Oh, I can think of lots of things. I want to know what's going on with you two. I see the way you look up at her as she trots by. Maybe the three sent you here to set the two of you up? You're trying to embarrass me. It isn't going to work. And besides, we both know the fates have better uses of their weaving time than things like that. Do they really? Thought they were all about meddling with the smallest details of everybody's lives. But you'd know better than me. I know better than to be provoked like this. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'll handle it. Ah. <laughs> Don't hate me, babe, okay? It's not my fault I keep lying to you, manipulating you, shooting you with the rail, making you clean up after me, saying awful things behind your back. While I cannot shake the sense that this is a personal failing of mine, in spite of everything, I don't hate you, Aris. Not entirely. Although, whose fault is all of that, if not your own? My mother's. It's Nix's fault, that's whose. Because she literally made me what I am, and what I'll always be. I could have been old age or friendship, but no. And I can't change my nature, no matter how hard I try. And approximately how hard would you say you've tried? I mean, I haven't really yet, but I'm going to this time, I swear. And I encourage you. Ugh. You don't even speak with Headmistress anymore, do you? 
Makes her relationship with Nemesis look positively healthy by comparison. She said a lot of nasty things about me, babe. And not just to my face. All because I didn't fit her model of a star disciple. I had to move on. It's just, I don't need anybody like that in my life. Eris, you repeatedly stole from her. Kept using the cauldron to create explosives and my tent for target practice. Vandalized Hypnos in his slumber, salted the garden, and continually harassed shades about the way they died. Well, Miss Perfect, so I made a few slip-ups. Doesn't make it okay for Hecate to lecture me in private, where I couldn't even get full credit for the things I did. You don't know the half of it. She silence-warded you, didn't she? I think maybe she did.